let me invite uh, Mr. Nikhil Kumar, head healthcare segment, greater India operations, Schneider Electric, to give an industry presentation, and then uh, that can also give an idea to Navin Sona sir that what Schneider is actually doing in the healthcare sector. So may I request uh, Mr. Nikhil Kumar, head healthcare segment, greater India operations, Schneider Electric, come on stage and give a presentation. Over to you. Thank you, Shavik. Uh, it's a, indeed a pleasure and uh, good morning all uh, distinguished guests. Uh, I am Nikhil Kumar. I'll reintroduce myself. I'm heading the healthcare segment for Schneider Electric, Greater India Operations. So uh, it's, it's always a pleasure because I see so many known faces. We have a small community uh, on the uh, healthcare front and uh, we come across on such events and uh, exchange our thoughts and then we try to implement also. So it's, it's a uh, great pleasure to again uh, uh, come closure with you all and uh, see what next we can do uh, in the healthcare domain. So uh, just to just give a glimpse on the futuristic uh, approach on the healthcare, which will be people centricity and uh, hyper efficiency and resiliency to the core. So uh, these goals will be, uh, we, we, we will achieve those goals only when we make it fast track. So how uh, the things will move uh, in few slides, we will try to uh, cover those things. So energy consumption will grow uh, in on 2x factor and 50% uh, of the energy uh, will change the course of the mega trends which are going on <clears throat> in the field. And uh, we need to bring the efficiency levels to uh, the 2x or 3x levels on that. So uh, these uh, we will uh, discuss today that how in the context of hospitals and healthcare we can improve upon that and uh, we can improve on the efficiency, reliability factors and uh, sustainability factors across those. So if you see uh, the extraordinary events every day can affect uh, patient uh, care uh, giver as well, patients as such, and uh, we need to plan accordingly uh, for the futuristic uh, hospitals. So confident that uh, most of us uh, not all, but uh, most of us will agree to the mega trends which are shown here, uh, which are creating the pre uh, unpredictable uh, environment all across us. So be it uh, the aging population or uh, we have broken supply chains which were uh, really, really troub uh, troublesome for last two years, so-called when the pandemic approaches. Then we have uh, the energy pricing which is sh uh, shorting up and down. Then we have uh, the outbreaks in the uh, uh, system, which were causing a lot of trouble in the overall healthcare system. So what is the next level of the development or how we can prepare ourselves for this? So uh, these are a few more uh, examples or trends which we are experiencing, like the workforce in itself is... Uh, uh, a problem area. Then we have uh, some patient expectations which uh, have gone up du during the pandemic uh, uh, times. So uh, these are the few uh, trends which are shaping the healthcare and we need to uh, be prepared. So it's, it's a kind of tsunami which uh, we need to see in the healthcare seg segment to improve upon. So what lies in the future healthcare, we need to shape according to those trends. So that Mantra for us will be to digitize, digit, uh, digitalize all the healthcare system and put it on an integrated interoperable platform so that we have the data to, uh, to, to have uh, and to uh, make insightful information uh, regarding the healthcare uh, system. So go digital is uh, what uh, I feel should be the possibility to the next level for the futuristic uh, hospitals. So these are few data points which, uh, which are really, really on the higher side. If we don't collect those data, then we cannot uh, 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 take the actionables or, uh, to prevent all the crisis situations. As we speak, a new thinking is uh, required for this. And uh, each one in the August gathering should be involved for this, these changes. Digital technologies uh, 
unify lot of uh, uh, integration which are working in silos in the hospitals so uh, we partner with healthcare organizations to design and build a robust digital solution uh, platform which will be uh, uh, flexible for tomorrow as well so the resiliency factor should be there so we have uh, smart load management building automation connected room technologies and electrical distribution to give those insightful actionables so now talking about a very unique and very uh, important aspect which we uh, we can do in the uh, healthcare is the eco structure for healthcare which schneider uh, is giving so it's a three layer architecture which we uh, built in a hospital and uh, right from the medium voltage till the switches we have all the solutions which are connected and that data can be connected on the edge platform which is a software platform unique in all the sense so we have displayed here on the screen as well so i will request that you just spare few uh, minutes with our uh, technical uh, colleagues and uh, just see that how uh, we we are managing things on the software platform for all the connected layer then we have apps and analytics this is a very unique uh, uh, thing where we are doing a consultancy all as well and uh, we are giving the actionables insightful uh, proper diagnosis about the total electrical system which is there in the uh, uh, building of a hospital so this is uh, all the platform which we manufacture and build uh, for the end user to see so now going a little bit on the intrinsic front that what uh, these uh, edge layers or the softwares which are connected uh, to the devices can provide so uh, we have a integrated building management system so it gives all the insightful data which is collected from uh, the connected layer of devices so as we were just discussing in few forums that we have so many platform or the softwares which are working inside the hospital building so this is a integrated and interoperable uh, platform where we don't have a multiple silos working and we integrate that and build one solution which prevents all the uh, crisis situations and it works for the critical aspects of uh, that the, that hospital then we also manage the Uh, total energy consumptions efficiently with our uh, uh, power monitoring expert uh, software so that's uh, uh, monitoring the total critical facilities of uh, any building fire is one very important uh, uh, thing which we need to discuss and discuss deeply because it's a main uh, 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 critical thing which happens in the hospital so most of the facilities are due to the electrical failures which occurs due to fire and we cannot do that uh, in any hospital because it's a hyper sensitive zone so we have different different sensors which we can uh, put in the uh, panels itself on the electrical side and which gives the insightful data and uh, we can prevent all these mishaps happening then we have a very specialized panel which is isolation panel so it goes inside the ot it puts the safety standards to the next level and it uh, prevents the patient and the medical staff from getting any shocks and uh, uh, we can give insulation monitoring as well so we know that where the insulation failure is happening uh, throughout the circuit and we can prevent that we can more deeply can discuss one on one basis uh, during the break then comes a very important aspects on the power quality front so we have very specialized panels on the power quality as well so these uh, can be prevented and the downtime can be reduced so these are the voices which uh, uh, are taken from uh, the maintenance people who are working rigorously 24/7 inside the building uh, of a hospital so uh, these are the few questions which comes into uh, that mind of an electrical uh, engineer who is working there so we have a total uh, energy management solution which is working dedicatedly 
throughout the building and we know each and every warning signal which is coming from the building. So it's a very important uh, line that you cannot manage what you cannot see. So we need to have the data which is coming and then we can uh, do the uh, actionables accordingly. So uh, uh, certified power monitoring, uh, uh, some software is required for that. Now, just few more slides uh, to end. So these are the footprints which we have created all across uh, uh, India. And uh, these are all powered by uh, Schneider. So these are uh, chain of hospitals which are working. This uh, last slide of mine uh, gives you a glimpse of all these uh, global uh, hospitals. These are the real pictures. So uh, I, I, I'm hopeful that uh, you will identify that there is a Indian hospital as well in this picture. So we are not far from uh, things to, uh, to be futuristic on the hospitals. So thank you very much for your patience. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Nikhil, uh, for highlighting that how Schneider is making an impact uh, by moving towards a connected system uh, by leveraging technology and emerging technologies as well. You said that it's a small community in the beginning of your speech, but impact is big. So uh, thank you so much. So with this,